hello folks uh, these are the brand new questions questions of uh, 2018 october november paper 13 and the question number is 37 and uh, uh, the questions belong to the chapter of current electricity so it says that uh, in the circuit uh, shown the emitter reading is a zero so this reading is zero so we have to find what is the resistance of the resistor r here so uh, since the emitter reading is zero it is uh, just like uh, this thing is a short circuit like this short circuit so that means this point and this point are at the same potential so uh, they are at the same potential same potential and again we have got a connection here so it means that uh, these two points so these two points also are at the uh, same potential so they also should at, be at the same potential so that means that the pd here the pd here and the pd here should be equal so the pd between let us say this is point a and b the pd vab should be equal to the pd let us say this is c and this is d the pd vc d so i'm writing zero means that uh, the pd here and the pd here should be equal so now for this uh, uh, circuit so if i do like this this is like this so uh, the two resistors form a voltage divider circuit so what we should have is vab will be equal to vab should be equal to the resistance here which is 100 divided the total resistance which is 100 plus 50 into the total emf is 12 volt so it will be equal to 100 by 150 into 12 so it should be uh this is a 2 this is a 3 so 3 fours are 3 fours are 12 so it is 8 volt so vb should be equal to 8 volt in a similar manner the pd here cd should be equal to if i do like this if i do like this this will these two form a voltage divider circuit and the pd vcd will be equal to vcd should be equal to this resistance which is a 200 divided the total here which is a 200 plus r into the emf which is 24 so now if since this and this are equal we should have this thing is equal to so this is 200 by 200 plus r into 24 should be equal to 8 so this gives us since this goes here we have 200 by 200 plus r is equal to 8 by 24 equal to 1 by 3 which further gives us if 3 comes here it becomes 600 this is equal to 200 plus r which means that r is equal to 600 minus 200 and that's equal to 400 ohm so this means this and this means the answer is uh, the correct answer is choice number c in this question